It's weird. I've been stuck in the middle of crowded streets and never felt more alone. But here I am, in the middle of nowhere. And for some strange reason, I don't feel alone at all. <laughs> it's amazing. It's totally wild. I can't even go near him. And look at him, just hanging around her like a puppy dog. <laughs> never seen anything like it. Funny thing is, to Caitlin, this is the most normal thing in the world. You'd do anything for a bunch of grass, wouldn't you, boy? Well, you're not just staying with me because you're hungry. You want your ears scratched. Hurry up, Caitlin. You're going to be late for your bus. Sorry, Bandit. I got to go to school. Now it's back to uncivilization. sister heard her talking in the bathroom. Kayla thinks I'm a god. No way. Kayla thinks you're a dork. Do you guys have any idea how boring this conversation is? Are you calling my sister a liar? No. I'm calling you a liar. <laughs> okay, because who calls me a liar? Well, why don't we just keep it our little secret? Here she is. Wiping your drool up off the floor, please. When did you get here? Okay, Einsteins. I want you to meet your own personal crash test dummy. Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber, I couldn't resist. <laughs> your assignment should you choose to accept it, and you will because it counts as 15% of your semester grade, is to take the real thing and drop it from 30 feet without breaking it. It's impossible. Well, not impossible. You just have to build the appropriate container and see if it absorbs the impact. It's a team project, so pick your partners. Well, I could use a parachute device. Well, I could possibly use some cushioning wrap to absorb the impact. Taylor. My parents are up. I was wondering if you wanted to be partners. Me? Really? I thought I'd come to your house tomorrow morning. Is 10 too early? 10? Oh, 10's great. I like 10. All right. I know you're this super brainiac and everything, but let's get one thing straight. You're not the boss. I'm not cleaning up splattered yolk Caitlin, and... I'm actually going to be Taylor's partner. What? Is she your partner? Oh, no. She's my cousin. <laughs> yeah. Right. You have no idea how big a deal this is to me. My life totally changed at 2.37 this afternoon, and it's all because of... You actually did a nice thing. What? You noticed that I needed something, and then, without thinking of yourself, you did a nice thing like a normal person. Wow. Yeah, forget it. No, no, I owe you one. If you need any help on your project, I'm there for you. Uh, but only when Taylor's not around. 
You know what? Save it. I'm used to going it alone. Easy does it. That's it. There you go. Stay back. I know what I'm doing. Caitlin! Why did he do that? He got confused. He's scared. He's not scared of me. It's time to tame him. Why don't you just leave him alone? Because he's a wild animal and he's dangerous. If he's gonna stay here, we have to be able to ride him. When you first met Mom, how did you know that she liked you? I mean, not just like, but, you know, like, like. And, um, why would you want to know that? I just do, okay? Well, I guess the first thing I noticed was she laughed at my jokes. <laughs> that wasn't easy. His jokes were bad. I mean, really bad. We're talking okay, I like think so they get the point, honey. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, no, no, it's it's not a bad time. It's a great time. Yeah, dinner's pretty lousy tonight. <laughs> uh, so, how's it? Oh. Oh, no, that's, that's okay, I don't mind. All right, sure. So, how was Taylor? Taylor? Good going, Griff. <laughs> Please. She asked him to be her egg partner. Hmm. When's she gonna come over? Noon. I thought she said ten. Something came up. She thought it'd be faster if I got started without her. Great dinner, Mom. <laughs> so, Taylor, how exactly do you want to start the egg experiment? Corny, dumb. She laughs at that, she's gotta like me. Now we're gonna start by showing Bandit that he doesn't need to be afraid of us, that he can trust us. Okay. Hey, Bandit, you miss me? Yeah, just keep talking to him, keep him coming. Good boy. either. Hey, looks great. Uh, well, you could say I figured out exactly how to start the egg experiment. <laughs> you laughed. Well, it's hard not to. You're funny. I worked on the computer. It should work here. <sighs> Are you okay? Extremely. <laughs> You've never had a saddle on before, have you, boy? Kirsten? Hey! Oh, it's going great! No, nope. all I do is smile and laugh at his stupid jokes. Yeah, then Egghead does all the work, and I get an A so I don't flunk the class. Oh, boy. Hey, you know what? You're a creep. I know exactly what you're doing. 
Why don't you just do your own project instead of stealing his? I don't have to take this from a juvenile delinquent. Taylor, where are you going? We're not finished yet. Oh, yes, we are. What'd you say to her? She was using you to get an A. I heard her on the phone. You don't know what you're talking about, Taylor. Just stay out of my life. No wonder no one wants you. I wish you never came here. So the steer runs under the clothesline, out of the yard and onto the main street. Emma is screaming, help, help. We think she's hurt. But get this, it turns out the steer had run off with her red strapless dress, hanging off its horns. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that red dress. She probably looks better on the steer. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, how was your day? Her day was fine. I did you a favor. I didn't ask you to. She's just using you. She thinks I'm funny. Who? You're so blind. She's a scheming little jerk. Who? She's not a jerk. She's thoughtful, she's popular, and she has really great hair. You're just jealous. What is going you're on? You're deluded. No, I'm happy, and you're not. Just because your life stinks, don't try to ruin mine. Griffin! Caitlin! Well, a actually, fighting is good. It means that they're getting close. Any closer and we'd have World War III. They all pretend to be really nice, but they're not. They're two-faced and they turn on you. Even when you're trying to do something nice, you're the only one I trust. And if you trusted me, you'd let me ride you.